Welcome back to the Atlas Tutorials. In an earlier tutorial I developed a lucky number guessing game. You can see the code for it here. Now, in this particular tutorial, we, or the previous one, the user was only allowed a single guess. Today I want to extend that to allow the user to have multiple guesses. Indeed, uh, the skeleton will provide some feedback as to whether the guess was higher or lower than the actual number as well. Alrighty, so let's see how we can develop that. So to do that, what I need to do is introduce a while loop. So I'll put true there. I'll move this code down to here for the moment. And what we want here, let's go into the world, into the functions. We use the a not equal to b. So while lucky number, or sorry, while the guess is not equal to lucky number, we're going to continue asking the user for, to, to enter a guess. So we're going to move the guess code into here to begin with and we're going to just change this to zero the initial guess. The reason why I do that is I don't want this initial time around the loop before we've actually asked the user to guess a number to be equal to the lucky number. If I had guess equal to one there know so I'm picking a lucky number between 1 and 5, it could be that we generate 1 here. In that case we won't actually enter the loop at all. So we set it to 0 to make sure that doesn't happen. Get the user to enter a guess and then check whether the guess was correct or not. And let's see what happens there. Let's play that. So we enter 3 and you notice there when we got it wrong the user is prompted again for a second guess. Let's go 4 this time. Uh, let's try 1. Let's try 2. And eventually we get it right. Now what we're going to do now is keep track of the number of, number of guesses the user has had. And also down in this code here, let's give them a little, little bit more feedback on whether they guessed too high or guessed too low. So we'll create a new variable, we'll call it number of guesses, and initially that's going to equal zero. So we put that in there, and each time the user has a guess, we're going to increment the number of guesses by one. Now it doesn't really matter where we put it into the loop as long as it goes after they've made the guess somewhere. All right, the point is, is we want to make sure that the number of guesses incremented regardless of whether they make a correct guess or not. Right, this part stays the same, so if they enter the right guess we're still going to say correct, but we're going to change this bit of code down here. We're going to use what we call a nested if statement. So now we're going to go if the guess is less than the lucky number We'll get the skeleton in that case to say too low. So let's get the skeleton, get the method, and we'll say enter the text, so too low, and guess again. And in the other case, we want to say too high. So too high, and again we'll say guess again. And we can get rid of that part there, if we've got enough feedback. And then finally at the end, what we want to do is get the skeleton to basically give some feedback as to how many guesses it took. Now we'll just begin, you had three guesses. Now we'll show how we need to change that at the moment, we'll just put that in for now. And let's run that. So we go 3, correct, and you had 3 guesses. Well, obviously that's not the case. We want to actually change that so we'll say you had 1 guess. So we want to use this number, number of guesses variable. To do that, what we need to do is break this string up a bit. We go back into our functions, and we're going to join a couple of strings together. 
Righty. Actually, we need to do that again as well. We'll see how that works in a moment. And we'll just put a default string in there for now. So let's change that. We we'll just said you had, get rid of the number. That'd be the first part of the string. This part here, we want to put number of guesses. Now, if I just try putting that in, oops, drag this variable in here, and then finally, let's put a space and put guesses there. And let's play that. Oops. Let's put some guesses. Well, clearly that's not what we want there. Let's also change the duration so we can actually have time to read that. Let's put that for five seconds. So what we want to do here is we actually want to print out num guesses, the variable num guesses. But the problem is that's a number we need to put a string in here. So what we need to do is convert it. So I'll put what is a string, and we put num guesses as a string. That does it, does the conversion. So again, let's play that. We put in four, two high guess again. All right, let's put two, two low. Well, we know it must be three. And correct. And there you go. say, so you see we've got the correctly printed out, correctly formatted feedback as well. Excellent. So that's about all. So just a couple of things to reiterate there with the strings. We need to join the strings together. We need to convert uh, numbers into strings using this particular function here. We've got to be careful as well and make sure we put spaces after the first bit of the string. And in this case, we also have a space before, before this string here, just so it's nicely formatted. Alrighty, that pretty well wraps up this tutorial.